welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and I'm a 25 year old musician living in New York City with my partner Ross and our cat Rory and today I am doing an apartment tour. I'm super excited about this video because apartment tours are some of my favorite types of content to watch on YouTube myself and I've wanted to make one for a really long time. Before we get into it, I want to share a little bit about my apartment because I always found this type of information really helpful when I was watching these myself in preparation for finding my own apartment. My apartment is a $2,300 studio in Brooklyn and Ross and I split that evenly, so we each pay $1,150. For safety reasons, I'm not going to say the exact neighborhood that we live in, but I will say that we live near the East River waterfront and rents do tend to be some of the pricier ones in Brooklyn. My building is pre-war but does have some modern updates such as an elevator and rooftop deck and we are very fortunate to have all modern appliances, a washer dryer and a dishwasher in the unit and our water and heat is included in the cost of our rent. I'm standing in the entryway of the apartment and here on my door I just have my purse draped over the uh, little peephole thing <laughs> and also some masks hanging on a command hook so we don't forget those. 2020, am I right? <laughs> to my right we have the one and only closet in this apartment that Ross and I share. I'm going to open it. Please do not judge me too hard. Here it is. This shoe rack from Target is an absolute lifesaver. If I didn't have it, I don't know what we would do with all of these shoes. It holds about 20 pairs and I'm pretty sure it was only about $20. I love this cute rug in the entryway. I think it does a really nice job at tying in all of the beige and grays that I have in the apartment. Unfortunately, I'm not sure where it came from. It was a Christmas gift for my grandmother. We actually found this piece of furniture here in front of our bed on the street walking home one night. It was being thrown out and uh, you'll see shortly that we actually have several pieces like this in the apartment. Um, but this was a really great find. I can't tell you that it is from Ikea. There was a sticker on the back. But we keep books and papers and such in this drawer. And then in this drawer we have movies and some electronic stuff. And on top of it, we have one of Rory's beds, which of course, she rarely actually uses. The bedroom area is my favorite part of the entire apartment. My goal was to make it just very, very light and airy and cozy, and I think I achieved that. I love this super soft comforter, which I will link in the description along with anything else in the apartment that I can find links to. The bed frame is the Malm bed frame from Ikea and it is a storage bed. We have four storage drawers underneath where we keep t-shirts and workout clothes and in the back drawers we keep out of season items because they're a little harder to get to. It runs into the couch right here and it won't open on Ross's side all the way either due to the wall. These throw pillows, uh, like the rug, in the entryway are another one of my attempts at tying the beige and cream in with the gray that we have over in the living area. On this wall we have displayed some of Ross's Bob Ross style paintings. Ross is actually going to be starting his own YouTube channel here pretty soon that I will come back and link in the description when that is up where he paints Bob Ross paintings along with the Bob Ross tutorial and just chats about art a little bit. It's gonna be really cool. I'm very excited for him. Right across from the bedroom area, we have the living area. We've got this nice great couch that I paid about $300 for from Amazon. It is obviously not the highest quality couch in the world. It's not as comfortable as a West Elm couch or anything like that. But for the price and size, I can't complain about it. It serves its purpose and it fits the space really nicely. Also, you will notice that this is not my cat. <laughs> we are babysitting a neighbor's cat this weekend and he is just the sweetest little boy. He's just been napping there all day. The coffee table is actually a DIY job. Uh, Ross had the coffee table in his old college apartment and it's just a plain black table and we took white marbled contact paper 
and put it on the top. It was a very quick and cheap project and it made the table look a lot nicer and really tied the space in together a little more how I wanted it to look. On the table, we just have this little bowl from Anthropology that we keep odds and ends in, uh, cough drops, nail file, whatever I happen to be using when I'm at the coffee table. Um, my gratitude journal and one of the, is it Veluspa, Veluspa candles? It's the persimmon and copal scent, which is my absolute favorite. This green rug is the first thing that I picked out for this apartment. Probably more than a year before I even moved to New York, I saw this rug in Carrie Carollo's apartment tour and was obsessed with it and knew that I wanted it. So when we moved, I went and ordered the exact same rug and I'm still obsessed with it to this day. I think it is so beautiful. I love the colors and it will be linked in the description. This painting that I have behind the couch, I actually did at a sip and paint event where you painted your pets. That is Clarence. He was my pet ferret and unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago, but it's nice to have this tribute to him in my apartment. And here we have some floating shelves with some of my favorite trinkets on it. I love trinkets. I have way too many of them and these shelves are a really nice way to display them. This apartment is actually laid out really nicely to have an area for an entertainment stand. I'm not even going to try to pretend we're not TV people. I know it's not chic these days, but we love a good Netflix marathon. Right here we have this mirror sitting on top of our paint set, which I realize is not the most aesthetically pleasing thing in the world, but it's just one of those things that just kind of happened and we left it. Over here we have our TV. Uh, we have the Chromecast going, so it puts nice pictures up on the screen. And we have the TV on this nice cube shelving. Ross had this in his old apartment before we moved in together. And I replaced the red and blue cloth drawers that he had with these white and gold ones to match the rest of the apartment. We have some of my favorite books displayed as well as some more of my mini trinkets. Over here we have Rory's little area. We've got her cat tree with her scratching post and hammock and also her carrier for when we travel with all of her toys stuffed inside it. Over here we have our nice big window that lets in a lot of natural light and also this ugly air conditioning unit that I've tried to pretty up a little bit with some plants and more of my trinkets. We've got all my candles and our router and modem right there. That's pretty ugly, but then it gets a little cuter. So we move on over. We have my plants up above the air conditioner. We've got my salt lamp down there in the left corner. I really love that. It puts off really nice light at nighttime. Over here, we have what we refer to as the music corner. It's kind of a little joke because we really wish we had a whole office or music room for this type of stuff, but we're making do with what we've got. So my piano is right here and then over here, literally in the corner, we have all of our instruments. We've got my saxophone, my flute, my clarinets are here and they are on top of Ross's tuba. And then we've got a ukulele back here. We also have this set of plastic drawers, which were another street find. We found it right outside of our building. Uh, right as I was looking to buy something to keep sheet music and books and papers and all this stuff that we just didn't really have a designated place for and it's coming really handy. So now when you come across from the bedroom area in between the bedroom area and the kitchen we have our trash can and Rory's food bowls and then just another shelf like the ones above the couch with some more trinkets on them and then to my right we have the bathroom. On the back of the bathroom door, we just have a hanger where we hang towels, bathrobes, my hair towel thing, and then we go on into the bathroom. Here we are in the very small but serviceable bathroom. It has everything you need, and if you get a little creative with your storage, it'll all fit. So this shelf here is another street find. Someone was throwing it away, and it holds all of my lotions and medication, that kind of thing. And then in this tub here, we have the products that I use more regularly. Under the sink, it's pretty messy, but we have hair tools, makeup, 
Same deal up here. There is a medicine cabinet behind the mirror, which is really nice. And then our shower is actually really great because it has a window. New York City apartments are notorious for not having good ventilation in the bathroom and a lot of them don't have fans. So this window really keeps it from getting too steamy in here when you shower. Here we are in the kitchen. I know it looks small, but this is actually a really nice sized kitchen for New York City. We have everything we need in here. We've got um, a full size, but still pretty small refrigerator, dishwasher, oven, and a combo washer dryer unit, which a lot of people have told me that they've never seen before. It is a washer and dryer in one machine, and you just put your laundry in, turn it on, and it goes all the way through washing and drying. Ross and I started collecting magnets whenever we go to a new place together, so we've got them up here, and a couple more various ones here, and a Christmas card from last year from my cousin. Over on this side of the kitchen, we have our granny cart that we take to get groceries. It's so big and so sturdy, and it holds a lot of stuff. It has been the single best investment we have made while living here. And here we have our final street find. This was out on trash day. It was pretty wobbly and loose, but all we had to do was clean it up and tighten the screws, and we had a nice shelf. I think it's actually meant to be one of those that you put over the toilet, but it was too big for our bathroom. So we put it in here and we just have some of Rory stuff, cleaning products, bread, bagels, paper towels, my Diet Coke's up there, I love my Diet Coke. Here we have our coffee pot, toaster oven, this uh, vintage strainer from my grandma, and in here we just have um, an avocado and an onion and some, what are these called? The gloves of mitts. We have a decent amount of cabinet space. I'll just open very quickly. Here we have a bunch of food. Up here we have some canned goods and a couple of pots of pans. And we keep all of our plates and bowls, cups, and Tupperware and silverware in here. We have reached the end of the tour. If you enjoyed it, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications, and let me know in the comments if you like my apartment. Would you pay $2,300 to live here, or am I being completely ripped off? Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.